name is Colton. Welcome to the Black Hills Howler. Last time we brought you several six-word, six-minute videos from students in our iVideo class. For this show, our team has found interesting characters and conducted formal interviews around a team theme. Our team's theme is the teenage perspective. This week we'll look at stories from various local teens. Our first story was filmed by Brock Carlson. Let's take a look. I'm super excited and I, can, I cannot wait until I see my teammates and my coach. I was, uh, I was out of shape and yeah, I'm getting back now. But yeah, hopefully we do it good this season. During quarantine, I did uh, was a bunch of push-ups and sit-ups, probably like uh, playing games at home with some friends. That's good advice it was to do good and pick the team and pass it to the next person. This is Corbin King reporting for Howard. My name is Casey Sanquist, that's spelled K-C-S-A-N-Q-U-I-S-T. COVID has been going terrible. I don't think it's been going good for anybody, but um, I have been struggling with school. Uh, school has been a struggle, but because uh, with math, I can do it in person easily, but when it's uh, on a computer, it just doesn't click in my mind. No, nothing, nobody has really restricted me because of COVID because I hey. take my precautions oh, hey. and wear my mask. Yes, I have been doing a few hobbies. Uh, I have gotten more, I've been doing dirt bikes for a little while, but I have just gotten into it a little bit more and I am starting to play guitar. So no, I, I've had fam a, a family member pass uh, during COVID, but they didn't die from COVID and it's still hard to believe that they're gone. There's Black Hills ninth grade student, Kill Mel. I grew up in Washington and lived in Nevada for two years. I entertained myself when it's nice outside, just go ride my bike. The pandemic affected um, school, baseball, and being able to see my family. The best part of my day uh, in the pandemic is being able to see, for, uh, see friends on Zoom meetings. The talents um, that I picked up uh, was getting really good at ping pong and being able to do a flip and trip. And the pandemic shut down us being able to go to the dunes. Uh, it's something that we do every year. This is Colton Mellon recording for the Howler. The freelancers, we do all types of art. We even get into other topics that wouldn't be more of like pen to paper or digital pen to paper kind of art. We like to do other subjects as well because I feel any subject can be an art if you have a passion for it. Well, it affected the club mostly. And for me, it's just kind of makes me sad because it's I, it's almost my years of high school and I feel like I haven't done much and since with the pandemic we can't really go back and do a lot it's mostly social distance I don't feel I'll be remembered after I finish high school just I was there the pandemic hit and just kind of kind of ruined plans for me to do more it affected the club because now most of us don't even show up. We can't really be together together and show off all of our art. I was able to keep it healthy because I took most of the time out of my day to communicate with everyone. Well, at least try to communicate with everyone. Still try to make plans to meet up. Because being an artist, you do need to get inspired. And when you don't have any inspiration at all, you just don't get anything creative. You just have a stagnant kind of episode in your life. Nothing moves. You don't get anything flowing. You can't do much. It's just mostly schoolwork. Even though it can be difficult at times. 
And so yeah, I mostly just have to force myself in a way to try and get everyone to be together. We all friends. would be to try to make it through it and try to look on the brighter side of life regardless of if there's mostly negativity because I feel if there's still at least a certain chance of positivity whether it be watching TV or playing games just to distract yourself just to get your mind off of the certain um, negativities that you're probably used to having when the pandemic started, not being able to see your friends. Because I think there are many ways to cope, but it depends on how you want to use those certain, uh, eh, I don't know, certain things, certain methods to get through at least a day. Yeah. Thank you for watching our show. This is Colton, reporting for The Howl.